Today I want to show you how I quickly color grade my Sony log footage from this to this using the Phantom LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. The first thing you need to do is make sure your camera settings are right. On the FX6, all you have to do is hold the menu button, scroll down to project, click base setting, shooting mode, and make sure that's set to Cine EI. Okay, on the Sony A7S III, hit the menu button, go down to exposure and color, go down to color slash tone, go down to picture profile, and then make sure you pick picture profile eight, PP8, and then hit right on the D-pad and make sure your gamma is set to S log three and that your color mode is set to S gamut three dot cine. Okay, now that the cameras are all set up, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve. All right, so if you haven't already checked out my previous video on how I import the Phantom LUTs into DaVinci Resolve, go ahead and check that out right here. So once you have the LUTs imported, go ahead and go down here to the settings. You go to color management. First thing you wanna check is the color science. Make sure that is set to DaVinci Y RGB. The timeline color space should be set to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 for Windows users. If you're on a Mac, go ahead and set that to Rec 709-A. The output color space, scroll up to the top, set that as same as timeline. Then you'll scroll down. The 3D lookup table interpolation needs to be set to tetrahedral. Go ahead and save that. Then once you have your clip on there, I usually create an adjustment clip, which is as simple as typing in adjustment right here into the effects and dragging that over. Go into the color management tab. And then from there, all you have to do is pick whichever LUT you want. I usually go with the Sony um, A7S III airy look, the neutral. And then you just hold that, drag it over, and then you're done. Now you can also tweak this however you want. You can add nodes, right click, add a node, add a serial node. Usually I'll add some grain. Then you can add another node and you can adjust the lift gamma gain offset. You can do whatever you want. I like the way it looks straight with the LUT and then I just add that grain and that's it for me. All right, so there you have it. That's how I quickly color grade my Sony S-Log footage with the Phantom LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. But that's gonna be it. God bless, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.